who made it possible, didn't wish to know about the steamer's prospects, or found more compelling arguments closer to hand and pocket. Some conservationists would argue that navigation of the Murray is damaging to the natural state of the river. I think we get the rivers we deserve, and the skeletons of riverboats are symbols of our neglect, of our failure to love and care for this beautiful river. To me, this wreck and the river it lies in are our national estate, the things we must keep and cherish and restore. Unfortunately, the Murray River system has become a victim of mismanagement and continuing drought conditions, and we can only hope that a solution will be found soon to restore the river to its natural beauty. Now to a location with plenty of water. The spectacular coastline on Tasmania's south coast is home to Bruni Island Charters. Owner Rob Pennicott has built an award-winning business with a fleet of high-speed boats that take tourists on an environmental cruise around the soaring cliffs and inlets of Bruni Island. Let's go along for the ride. The way Rob Pennicott sees it, a three-hour environmental cruise on one of his boats off southern Tasmania is a journey you'll probably never forget. Boom, boom. It's good for your complexion, I promise, guys. And we'll bring some tissues. 231 metres straight up. It's worth getting to the edge and look up. Isn't that absolutely awesome? Nearly a decade ago, Rob Pennicott was a fisherman, plying the waters around South Bruni National Park with a boat full of cray pots and nets. Now his fleet of custom-built inflatables is packed with tourists. A lot of, I think, why people love coming to an island off an island and off an island is there aren't many places you can do that 30 miles from a capital city, in this case Hobart. He's become one of Tasmania's most successful and dynamic tourism entrepreneurs. Your transition from fisherman to tour guide, was it hard? Uh, no, it was very easy. I used to take a lot of friends fishing with me and friends of friends and used, they used to love it and I'd blow them away so much that that's what really gave me the idea so it became a natural progression. And um, yeah, you, you can only talk to crayfish for so long. There's a keen sense of anticipation when people turn up to board the cruise boats after an hour's drive and ferry ride from Hobart. Some paying extra to travel on the company's buses and eat at its restaurant. How are you? Good, thanks. You're on the full day tour today, are you? We are. Yeah, great. If you'd like to just head through to the kitchen, they'll look after you with a muffin and a hot drink. The cruisers leave from Adventure Bay, landing place of Captain James Cook in 1777. These seafarers, though, are decked out in more suitable wet weather gear as they pass huge dolerite columns en route to the Southern Ocean. It's more spectacular than I thought it would be. It's just... oh, the rock formation is just fantastic, I think. With Antarctica just two and a half thousand kilometres away, don't be fooled by the skipper's shorts. It can be really cold and there's often a rolling swell. How do the passengers go with seasickness? Sure. Um, we take it very seriously and we have done a lot of our research on it and we've actually found the technique to minimise seasickness and statistically we have about one in 400 seasick. So what's your secret? Uh, ginger is fantastic. He knows what he's doing when he gets so close to the rocks. Yeah. Does he know what he's doing? We, we hope, hope he so. does. Be careful, it's a bit slippery, but just put a When he started, here, Rob Hennicott was at the helm every single day for at least seven months of the year. The first few years were very hard. Um, uh, I'd go with one person, some days I'd have none with still the expenses and each year it got busier and busier and then year seven we um, uh, made a big plunge to get a um, uh, three boats like we've got now which are 12 and a half metre rigid inflatables each one taking 42 passengers. 
About 600 people live on Bruni Island. Fish farming, rural industries and tourism drive the local economy. Bruni Island Charters directly employs 28 locals. Eleonora Buczek started working for the company four years ago as a 15-year-old. She's now qualified as a deckhand and skipper. For someone like myself, a young person, like I've grown up here and I get to stay here and that just blows me away really. I never thought I'd have a job, a job that I really enjoy on the island, so I'm stoked. While spectacular scenery and seabirds are guaranteed, passengers often score the bonus of dolphins, whales and the occasional floating local. Oh, yeah, I've only been out a day or day, Robbie. Yeah, how long are you going, going to stay out for? Oh, about 15 days. Waiting at Fry Rocks at the southern tip of Bruni is the big crown pleaser. Australian fur seals, in fact, the same colony.